<laughs> you know, yeah. you're just like, here it is, the scene. See more narrows. It's gonna get crazy. <laughs> That's, that's always been my nightmare, the barges, because there's so far back, there's no humans next to them at all, and all they have to do in a place like this, right, is swing around and whack you. And, and they can go slow, like a knot, but they'll never stop, they'll never slow down. So there'll be a knot that just pushes you until your boat turns sideways, and goes upside down, and goes underneath the barge, and no one will ever notice, because that weight is meaningless to a barge. It's always been my worst nightmare. I mean, they're just scary. I mean, it's, that's another tug behind it, right? To help make sure the turn doesn't go and wipe out like half the bait. You can tell I'm not, I got a lot of respect for the old <laughs> tugging toes. There's a log boom. How's it going? Not bad. Not How are you feeling about uh, doing doing the famous narrows at night? I feel like there's no other way. I thought that you weren't going to go through the other tidal exchange earlier. What stopped you from doing that one? Uh, we figured we were a little bit late to arrive before the max. Um, and we we're seeing a max of like eight knots going through. Right. And we've got a good couple thousand pounds of weight on the other vessels that like went in front of us. Yeah. So we just weren't confident in our ability to maneuver. Um, it was more of a seamanship decision than a racing decision, to be honest. We all would have loved to go through, but it could have ended very badly. I love that call. The call of prudence. That's what, that is what this race is all about. Alright, cool. See so you guys in Catch a Cat. You got it, man. You got it. Man, they're together. God, I was not that. Who was that together when they were 18 or 19? Anyone? Was anyone that shit hot when they were 18 or 19? Right? I was like drinking cheap beer and saving up money for a Harley. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> 